Hi, thank you for tuning into Green Gossip podcast by the disposal company powered by Vanity Wagon. At Green Gossip, we explore childhood memories, education, work experiences, family values and more. that have helped shape the sustainability vision of people behind your favorite brands today we have with us tarun and priyashna from ofega ofega powers tech driven enterprise gifting for the world's leading companies such as bain and go mckinsey philips gartner and more So thanks a lot for joining us today, Tarun and Priyashna. How are you guys doing? We're doing super well. Thank you for having us, Manishree. We're super stoked to be here. Okay. So first of all, Tarun and Priyashna, you're both the co-founders of Ofega. How do you know each other? Well, so we're we're friends from way back 2018 now. 2018. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.
uh, when there's a large order and they need need some help. So we finish up like a day of packing, and uh, Priyash and I sort of just sat down and we look out at uh, the hall area where we are packing, and it's just full of plastic. There's plastic from the products themselves. There's plastic that we used. There's uh, all the plastic that we used to ship all of the items in these bulk cartons, and that was also like a huge reminder that you know that they're having like a good large impact. And by this time, sustainability had picked up, so we were also aware of the sort of impact that we are having. So we decided, okay, nobody else is doing it. I think it's time that we start doing it because otherwise, if you don't start, then nobody else will, right? The impetus at the end of the day is on you. So we try to set up this sustainability as sort of a core value in what we are doing and to let it inform our actions, which is where the sustainability angle came from. That is what you talked about is great, you know, from the environmental perspective and with relation to your packaging. Now, uh, let's also touch a little upon sustainability from a broader perspective, which is let's say the social side of it. So, is that something that's also on your priority list and that you guys like really think about? Absolutely. Um, and so, I always when I'm you know describing a figure to someone, I always say. The, we're a startup focused on sustainability, both social and environmental. Because when you say sustainability, what comes to mind for 99% of the population is it's environmental sustainability. So um, we try to emphasize on the social sustainability side as well. Um, so there's a few things that we worked on for this. For example, um, we partner with vendors that we call as impact partners and what these people do is they're basically um, say women-led startups, they're community-owned uh, businesses, they are businesses owned by minorities or people from underprivileged backgrounds and we try to promote these companies as much as possible with their products or something like that. For example, we recently partnered with Pahari Story for an order and uh, Pahari Story, through that collaboration with Pahari Story, we were able to directly contribute towards uh, economic development for tribal women from uh, the northern mountainous regions of India, right? Um, so that, that's like the external social sustainability aspect inside the organization as well, inside of Kika. Um, we're a very su socially sustainable organization in terms of the fact that 90% uh, of our workforce um, are women. More than 90%, in fact, I think there's just like, there's me and there's one more person who's a guy, everyone else is um, a female. And a lot of our staff comes from uh, very uh, marginalized backgrounds, right? So we actively hire women from disadvantaged and marginalized communities so that we can empower them. Uh, they're not coming from a great social uh, or economic background. Maybe they don't have a lot of family support. So we've tried to make a conscious effort to hire from these sort of backgrounds to give back. That is mind blowing. Like I think you're one of the rare organizations who like, are doing so much at this stage uh, and it's great that you know like given India's G20 presidency organizations like you are really setting an example but I want to know like where one uh, is this thought entire like you know game changing thought coming from really within you and what do you envision, like, envision for your industry like what are you hoping will happen let's say in the next two to three years hmm. um so I'll take up the first part of the question and I think we have to take up the second one. Um, in terms of where the idea is coming from, I'll be honest, it's sort of inspired by a couple other very good companies um, working in the US and in the EU who are doing this. So, and these have sort of served as an inspiration. Companies like Pack with Purpose or Earth Hero. Right. These companies started with these sort of ideas and I was I personally was really inspired by them when I came across it. And then you know, Priyasha and I talked about it and she was um, really enthusiastic about it too. 
so we came up with a uh, five pillar model that guides our actions on how we contribute to sustainability specifically as a corporate giving company and why i say specifically as a corporate giving company is because there is limited control over what we can do when it comes to sustainability like we are a very asset light org we don't require that many people we source from other companies a lot right most of our business is based on sort of an aggregator model so i only have so much control over how much plastic packaging some other company uses or how much um how ethically sourced is some product from another company so what we've done in this five pillar model is i'll give you like a very short brief because i know that we're a little short on time how it works is these five pillars are basically social responsibility where i just talked about hiring women from disadvantaged and marginalized backgrounds we sort of support fair labor practices and we try to give back to the local community so uh something like a t-shirt that cleans up ocean plastic uh to uh food that uh enables skill development for low income women right then we have environmental sustainability so we try to reduce our uh like we talked about our plastic footprint as much as possible internally and then whatever is left over we try to recycle it through you guys and we try to source from suppliers who have these sort of sustainable practices like uh for example benetton has uh, is part of the better cotton initiative right so that supports how how sustainable uh, cotton farming practices are which is a huge issue then there's ethical sourcing so you know we go the extra mile to make sure all of our goods are sourced from partners who work ethically and sustainability so that means offering fair wages uh, offering good working conditions um avoiding the use of harmful chemicals all of that good stuff uh then um, another focus is on quality in terms of you know a better quality product lasts much longer it in turn reduces the need for replacements reshipments reduces waste and pollution all and you know just that whole bunch of that stuff and finally finally transparency which is probably the most uh important part you know, we're very transparent with our Uh, with our clients and our stakeholders, our brand partners about our practices and our initiatives, we are very clear about what we can provide and what we can not. You know how ethically sourced something is, how it's not, where we are able to make a dent in the whole pollution problem, and where we are not. So we try to work on these five pillars and really try to incorporate it in our everyday actions. Super cool. And Priyashna, lastly, how like what are you envisioning? We're in a very very critical position as we are in terms of dealing with corporates. So what we push forward is what they receive, right? So I have uh, I've realized this because most of the, most of the companies they come to us and they say, uh, "Listen, we want to hamper. This is the budget. Make it for us." And what I have done as a conscious gifting partner is pitching ideas, maybe a jute bag instead of a gift box, maybe uh, something that will uh, you know bulk distribution in office spaces instead of pitching for pan India distribution to offset carbon footprint. It's, it's a hybrid model. Um, you know, certain certain things pitching for bamboo T-shirts. I came across this amazing website. They do um, bamboo uh, apparel. They also have these bamboo. towels and stuff like that so it totally depends on again from the product side finding things that are uh, cost effective for the company to take from you plus also pitching them at the right time to the right company so that they also understand the entire need of making a conscious shift into sustainability and i am super proud of the fact that in the industry that we're at um, there are a lot of companies that are making that conscious effort and uh, we would like to be a part of that movement um in towards sustainability Brilliant! Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today, and thank you for all that insight. Thank you, Bhavishri. We had a lovely time, um, and th- this was super, super helpful. Yeah, thanks for having us. It was great talking to you and being a part of this podcast. Well, folks, that's a wrap for today's episode. We hope that you too are motivated to become a sustainability champion. So do your bit. Share the link to this episode with your friends and family. Help us spread the word. Every weekend, we'll be bringing to you the human side of sustainability with a new story. 
so be sure to follow the disposal company on instagram facebook twitter linkedin and youtube once again thanks for listening let's heal the planet together